Alright, we're checking out the only game where you can either jump the car or you die. It's jump the car. The concept is very simple. You have a car. You must force it to do ridiculous things, such as, you know, jump on top of a- Oh, well, there goes most of my car. I just lost 50% of my car. Jump on top of commercial jets across various shipping containers. Yeetus yourself off of wooden planks and then somehow come crashing into just random garbage blowing up some warehouse and murdering everyone inside. So that someone's like lunchbox or something flying through the air. As you can imagine, the cars in the beginning are very simplistic. So we're going to have to upgrade them. I love how you can increase the speed, you can increase the power, you can increase the money, but we can't, you know, get a better body job or something on this thing. Now, if you'll notice, the fire coming out of the tailpipe is much better now. Oh, wow, okay, the, the boost. It wasn't lying when it said, like, more boost. Out of the way, pleb cars. <laughs> and we just landed inside of an Amazon shipping store. Up oh, there comes the wheel. I do appreciate the destruction physics in this game. I also love how ridiculous the speed gets. Like, it, look at this. <laughs> it doesn't, you don't just boost yourself up a little bit. It gets completely out of hand. So there goes most of my vehicle pretty much immediately. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be like, am I supposed to be jumping over this? Oh, yep, I hate walls. Can't have any walls existing in front of us. And then we end up like, at a certain height level. And then you get bonuses based upon that. Give me my money. Oh, hey, we did upgrade our car. Like a 1978 AMC Pacer now or something. It is the station wagon that every parent owned in the late 80s. Now, is it as strong? as those oh my god i was gonna say isn't it as strong as those vehicles so you have to climb on top of some broken plane like it destroyed itself inside of the bermuda triangle i'm pretty sure this is how every survival game starts there was some billionaire inside of this plane he's now murdering a bunch of cannibals somewhere on this island yeah give me the times 10. crank it up baby all right various mayan ruins i hope none of you are protected like i'm hoping none of this is of any kind of historical relevance because we are going to ricochet over this man's head, lose our, you know, front fenders, destroy important pieces of history, and then vomit our oil all over the ground. Don't mind me. I've just upgraded the engine inside of the station wagon with, you know, like, the rocket thrusters of an F-16 fighting Falcon. I'm not gonna lie, we're starting to get a lot of money from the bonuses. More engines! I can't even hold on to the ground at this point. So we're not just scalping the guy anymore. We are very, very easily going completely over him. Oh God, oh, full flip, no big deal. We're still working on it. Secondary flip. All right, I might need a little bit more boost. My tire's running away. It's gonna end up murdering some National Geographic photographer or something. Oh my God. I'm starting to think that the boost is where the money should go <laughs> because, oh my God. <laughs> wow, it hit me. Oh, it just about hit me back to the beginning. Can you jump over that bar? And hold on, I, I just, I need to test something here. Level 30 boost. Yeet us our way off of this. Okay, looking good. Just kind of, yeah, you know, if we're at 180 degrees. What in the? Does this count? Oh, I had to land inside of the tow truck. I had no idea. I thought this was just here to be annoying. I love a paint job that looks like a banana vomited all over my pickup truck. Here we are in Breckenridge, Colorado. The place where trucks go to die. Oh, I made it. Sorry, Trace. I know you were providing carbon dioxide filtering and stuff like that. But honestly, we're not here for the environment. We're here for the murder. I cannot believe that I managed to power my way. Oh, okay, yep, yep. We're just doing a uh, Olympic course at this point. Oh, the ski lifts are destructible. Yes. Now they should have 100% had people on those ski lifts. That would have made this a thousand times better. I can't believe I got so far with no upgrades at this point. I don't know if I can clear the canyon. Never mind. I can totally clear the canyon. No big deal. Oh, my tire gave up. Like it didn't fall off. It just gave up. Ow! Yeah, we're going straight for boost. Are you ready to see what the boost does? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, yes. What is the state bird of Colorado? I'm waiting to wear it on my hood like an ornament. My truck has like 800 penguin power up underneath that hood. Just getting rid of the truck bed. Didn't need it. Was providing extra weight. Was holding me back. 
I am spewing so much fire from my tailpipe that I think I'm single-handedly destroying the environment in this place. On the plus side, if you like it a bit warmer, Colorado's gonna end up turning into, like, Florida by the time I'm done. Yeah, trucks can fly. Totally normal. Normal day. Now, I think I have to go over this or just maybe knock this over. You're coming with me, random rock thing. Now, if you could, just please flip the other way. Ow, I landed at the ski lodge. Well, most of me landed at the ski lodge. My shoes are gonna go in and get some hot chocolate. No one gets to enjoy their vacation but me. Full front flip. And I don't think we got high enough. Skiing's a dangerous sport. Not because people crash into one another while they're skiing and break their legs and stuff, but because you never know when a random psychopath in a pickup truck is going to murder you while you're going down the lift. All right. I think I, oh, okay, maybe not, hold on. I, I was gonna say, I think I have enough upgrades to make this all the way to the end. Jump the chasm, never mind. Head first into the chasm. Okay, I think we found the magic speed. Oh my God. I might not hit a single one of the lifts. I, I missed every single lift. That was incredible. And over the rock, there we go. Breaks my fall. All the trees go down. Say hello to everyone at the lodge. Probably murder some poor guy trying to take his family on a vacation and then land inside of the bobcat or whatever this is. Times 10. Oh, sweet. It's like the devil just bought a John Deere. No joke, I didn't upgrade a single thing on this. Like, I'm gonna complete this board not having spent, actually, never mind. I'm going to land on my hood and then cry myself to sleep because I ended up, <laughs> like, destroying my run with, like, 20 feet from the end. That's fine, though. I do want to upgrade something. A little bit of boost, a little bit of engine. That should be plenty. Considering everything I've done without the extra boost and the extra engine, I think I can completely jump over the hay bales, destroy the greenhouse, hope no one liked strawberries because they're dead. Full front flip through the dairy cow area. Some poor farmer's gonna be like, there's just red smears where my cows were. What happened? Jump, the car happened, ugh. I guess the same thing that happened to your strawberries, come to think of it, through the barn. There we go, this is it. This is gonna be it, eat your fruit, kids. And water tower, nobody loves you. Poop. It's like the lightest crash on the water tower. And land inside of the tow truck. I thought that all the levels had been fairly simple so far. So I guess I wasn't that surprised when I noticed that I'm going to have to, you know, try and dodge a random helicopter that's chilling out. Oh, the helicopter is just following me. Are you here to, are you here to watch as I destroy all the office buildings? <laughs> People chilling out inside of their cubicles only to get run over out of nowhere. Yeah, you thought you were safe working a day job? I don't think so. A big jump. Gonna, oh, landed on the third story that time. That's kind of cool. Only problem is there's no ramp here. So I kind of just have to go from like office building to office building and land on the top. No one gets any air conditioning because welcome to Florida. I'm not gonna lie, this level is, is pretty hard because you have to basically shove your car into the tiniest holes. So you gotta like fly through the office building and then somehow manage to land inside the next office building and then have enough height to get on the third office building. No one's going to work anymore. I am single-handedly going to destroy the entire workforce. All right, everyone, take the day off. Ugh. Okay, this is good. This is good, this is bad. All right, we're going for the stupid levels of upgrades. I've had enough. All of the bonuses! I am now satisfied with my bonus. All right! No more Mr. Nice Gray. Did it! Ah! Ah! Out of the way, helicopter, unless you want to die as well. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, we're still going. This car's fine. We're at, we're at the rooftop diner over here. Ah, uh, that's a lot of money. 109,000. More upgrades. All right, over the building. Ouch. I said. Over the building. Uh, there we go. Uh, everything's under control. Don't worry, everyone. Uh, 
I don't know if I can clear this distance. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, I totally can. That was... Actually, kind of can't believe that. So... Stick the landing, get the third star, because why not? Full double backflip, into a front flip, into another backflip. Oh, the whole reason that the that the helicopter is here is I have to land inside of it somehow. Are you kidding me? I guess it was only a matter of time. Uh-huh. This is normal. Okay, I'm starting to go so fast that, like, controlling the vehicle isn't a part of this game. You basically just try and lose as, as much of the vehicle as possible. Hit the ceiling <laughs> of the rooftop cafe. I've got to find a way to slide inside of this helicopter, though. I'm getting a ton of my- oh, my wheels almost made it. I assume eventually I'm going to be flying into space or, like, jumping off the rings of Saturn. That feels like something I would do in a game like this. The cool part is you get bonuses based on, like, how much air you clear. And we can clear a lot of air. Okay, here we go, here we go, this is a perfect landing. Perfect landing off the ramp, get the star inside the helicopter. How much is this car worth now? Because there's only about 50% of it left. I'm almost sure I told you that <laughs> we would be in space eventually. Here we are! <laughs> At least my character has a helmet on. What comes after space, I'm wondering? Can I do this with no upgrades? Like, I'm already starting off fairly- Oh, wow, you don't have any gravity. That's kind of interesting. Okay, lovely moon rocks. Tastes delicious. Flying through the air. Probably, you know, whatever environment there is on the moon, I'm- I violated that at this point. Oh, hey, it's a space station. Hope you guys are having fun doing all your tests and stuff like that because, uh, there goes the whole station. <laughs> Just gonna bring this with me. You know, it's uh, kind of like an RV, like a space RV, basically. We're doing a little relocation project for you guys. <laughs> That's a lot of money. All right. We'll go ahead and slam uh, 20 levels of boost and 20 levels of engine and see how that does for us. Now I'll probably just get another like 50, oh my God. I'll probably just get another 50 bonus for the money. Cause honestly, you can never have enough money. Off the top of the, Space station. There we go. Plus now I don't have to carry it with me. Oh no, there's a uh, like a little rover pod landy satellite thing over there that I missed. It always makes me feel bad when I don't destroy absolutely everything that. Oh my god, a meteorite! <laughs> Finally, the environment has decided to try and get even with me. I did not see that coming. How am I supposed to get past this? Cause like the meteorites are really, really heavy. 120,000. All right, uh, give me 30, I guess. All right, how does 30 do? Ooh, okay, 30's looking good. I might not even touch the space station. I just lost a piece of my car and I didn't even hit anything. Just came <gasps> off. Oh sweet, I've been wanting to murder you. Oh, I helped him. See, it took off. Well, it took off sideways and now it's going to come crashing back down on, oh my God! <laughs> it's like they're aiming for me. <laughs> okay. Ah! Oh, we meet again. I have so much bonus money. More boosts. Okay, can yes, I got over to the uh, that other thing over there. Full front. You know what? Two front flips. You know what? Th three front flips. That was a UFO. <laughs> Sticks the landing. Hold on, I want to hit the UFO. And boop. <laughs> Two hundred sixty-one thousand. All right, ready? We're gonna like one time this. Here we go. Over. Over, yes, Ugh. and front flip, get past all of the rocks, and I'm just gonna levitate, just gonna levitate, bam, right there, double star, no big deal, double back flip, uh oh, oh god, uh. oh, I landed uh, in the undercarriage of the UFO, like I am deep in there, in a place where I'm not supposed to be. Okay, I've, I've got it super leveled out, so, uh, Come on, don't, don't flip, don't flip, don't. All right, you know what? Actually, just go ahead and flip. No, actually, don't flip now. It, you, know, you gotta commit, man. There we go. And onto the back of the, this isn't really a tow truck. I don't, I don't know what this is. It's just kind of a platform. In fact, I, oh, I'm getting beamed up. <laughs> I have, I have like a pet UFO now. That's fantastic. My pit crew is aliens. All right, what's next? Oh, okay. So this doesn't seem that bad. So now there is a, uh, like a plane. And I gotta get the first star. 
then I have to almost murder the people inside of that hot air balloon and fall to my death. Nothing like re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Let's go ahead and pump this up to 20. Did I say 20? I meant 21, obviously. All right, speed, big jump, get the star, continue going. Tons of distance, that's a random plane. Didn't have to murder them. Oh my God, how, like how high do you have to jump? That was level 21 boost in engine and that didn't get me anywhere. Okay, how about now? Is that high enough? This good? And ricochet, uh, okay, I just got hard stopped by the balloon. Okay, 300 meters, 400 meters, 500 meters, 600 meters. Okay, we're gonna need a lot more upgrades in order to get this last star and land inside of whatever that thing is. The, the Osprey or whatever it's called. It's like the dollar store Osprey. It's like the Pelican or something. It sounds more Floridian anyway. You know what? We're just gonna go completely insane. Honestly, we might as well at this point. There's no reason to hold back. How about that? <laughs> Is that enough boost? <laughs> oh my god! The boost didn't know what to do! I think I may have boosted so high that the game doesn't understand. Uh-oh. Uh, hold on. Let me try that again. Oh. Yep. Uh all right, so how about if we just kind of like very lightly boost this and then ricochet, oh man. Okay, so because I broke the game, like hopelessly broke the game, there was no way to beat this level. So I had to go all the way back, reset everything, and hopefully now we can find the magic number that we're gonna need to fly like just perfectly in order to land inside of the pelican. All right, so we'll try 40. We don't want to go too high because when we go too high, we start breaking both time and space. So 40, oh yeah. Oh, that is some distance. That is some flight. Oh my God. Ugh. I gotta watch out for that air, that hot air balloon. I don't know how they survived that impact. All right, let's try 50. I would have never thought that there was such a thing as too fast, but if you can absolutely go too fast here, I have left the stratosphere. I went too high. Okay, not not too high, not too high, not too high. Ow. Okay, this looks good, this looks good. Here we go, oh yeah. Perfect, perfect, no! I'm so close. Let's try 60 levels of engine. This is like fine tuning a recipe. I am almost going over this, this balloon. That is how ridiculously high I have gotten. Maybe that's the idea. Maybe I just need to go straight over it. I don't want to go so high that I end up screwing over the game again, but I mean like I'm running out of ideas. Okay, bounce off the random rock. Didn't really have that planned. Off the tail of the plane. Oh, I am floating like a butterfly and I am hitting the ground like a meteorite. Oh, I am, I am backbreakering this rock. I am taking this rock with me. This rock and I are now one. Come with me, rock to the promised land. Why don't I feel like I have made this game do many different things that it's really not meant to do? Okay, I have almost found out the perfect amount of upgrades in order to beat this board. This is like so specific, you have no idea. You have to just barely dodge that rock. Then you have to fly through the air. You eventually have to ricochet off of this balloon, but just barely. So like maybe like one more upgrade is 39, the magic number. The big thing is you don't want to hit the rock right there on that one, uh, on that one jutting chasmus death thing. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, this could be good. You don't want to go too high because then we start you know, getting into the stratosphere and killing the people up there. Oh, okay, okay. We we have ricocheted off. We're kind of getting there. I can almost land it on this. So let's try 43. 43, over the rock. Don't let the back wheel touch it. Big float, looking good. Almost at a 90 degree angle. Big bounce, bounce the wrong direction. Sad, going completely backwards. A double tapped. I hit a completely different balloon. Okay, maybe one more level of boost. Does the does the Papa Bear 
like this amount of boost. Oh, my fender is following me very, very fast. Ah! Okay, the engine is upgraded. The boost is upgraded. Ugh. How much perfection do you want from me? Oh my god! Oh no, 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 no. Oh wait, hold on. I think I can ricochet off of this. Yes! Ow, I'm on the props. I am being sliced to death, and this is where I will sit for all time. And just because I wanted to make absolutely sure that I could get inside of the pelican, so I could say I finally got the last area, there we go. And we have a winner! Well, I jumped the car where I could, and the car jumped all over my soul. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode. Jump the car until next time. Stay foxy, much love.